Hi, my name is Paul Trainum. I'm a senior field application engineer for Intersil. And today I want to talk about a brand new a light sensor called the ISL29125. And it's an RGB light sensor. Um, and uh, we're going to demo the eval card for you today. Okay, so just to uh, talk a little bit about the new um, light sensor, ALS and RGB sensor, the ISL29125. The, the part has uh, three photodiodes, as you can see here in the block diagram. Um, there are one set of arrays for red, green, and blue, and that uh, light current is processed and digitized through an integrating ADC, and that information is then passed on through the I-squared C bus out to a, any microcontroller can be used or microprocessor, very simple micro. Um, the I-squared C bus can be used to set up different data registers and set different things within the chip, but it also allows you to output the data coming from the, the RGB sensors. In the lower left-hand corner, we have a normalized spectral sensitivity for each of the three colors, red, green, and blue. And you can see the, uh, in the, the wavelength of each of the three colors. Green matches up very, very closely with ambient light. So when, um, when you get an ambient light reading, it's essentially the same as the green reading. Up in the right corner is a snapshot of the actual die and where you can see some IR compensation. This is to allow you to put the part behind glass which blocks out ambient light but, um, or filters any kind of light but allows IR components to come through. So that allows you to do a better job of filtering IR light. And then you see the R, G, and B uh, components or of the uh, diode array. The part comes in a very small 1.6 millimeter by 1.6 millimeter package. So it makes it very, very small. Um, one of the applications might be on a cell phone, for example. You may want to do white balancing for the camera, or you may want to adjust the contrast or color of the display based on the light in the room or the color temperature of the room. Okay, so I've uh, plugged our ISL 29125 RGB ALS into the USB port, and then you do that first, and then launched the chromometer um, application, the GUI, that you would get off of our website um, or with your, on your uh, CD that comes with the eval card. And uh, so once you launch that, it, it looks like this, and you get readings, um, you get red, green, and blue. Um, we also do a conversion for you mathematically to uh, XYZ or XYUV if you prefer. Um, we also give you a measurement, uh, a LUX measurement, was shown here. And we do a calculated color temperature for you. So right now we're reading about 3454. And if we compare that to uh, a professional meter, now this is not a completely scientific method here because I'm Got them side by side, about as close as I can get. They're not on exactly the same level, uh, but it's fairly close. And the professional meter has a diffuser, so it's not going to be exact. But um, so I'm reading 34.55 on uh, our part, and then on the meter I'm reading 33.57. So fairly close. And um, something else I can show you if I change the light source so we have a fluorescent light in our lab here and turn that on and you see our temperature change now I'm reading 3749 um, on the 29125 and I'm reading 3702 it's actually a little bit closer so uh, the lux went up so when the lux went up we got a little bit more accurate reading uh, between the two parts you can get more information on our website www.intersil.com